Good morning, Bruce Mills from MillsWay.com. Hope you were somewhere warm playing golf. That's where I wish I was. Still practicing in my house, getting ready for next year's Golf Channel Amateur Tour. So, it'll be exciting. Well, Tiger Woods got to be happy that 2011 season was way in the past now. Just think, a couple years ago, Tiger Woods was winless in the season. Yes, he did win a tournament, but it didn't count towards the PGA titles. He won his own tournament, the World Challenge, that recently was played. And actually, he beat Zach Johnson in his tournament. So... But 2011 wasn't a good year. I think he had like two top tens in nine events. He, I th think, withdrew from one back then. He missed the cut. Not a good year for Tiger. As you know, Tiger Woods is back to number one in the world again. And he's been for quite a while this year and over his career. But in 2011, Tiger dropped down to 58th in the world. Wow. So how would Tiger bring it back? Well, yeah, Tiger brought it back from practice, practice, practice. But he had to bring him back his mental game, too. Again, I admire Tiger so much for his mental strength on how good he is with his golf game and the mental part of it. So... That's where I focus a lot of my energy, too, is learning how to improve the mental part of the game. How to help golfers improve the mental part of their games. So, hope you have a great day. Please tell me any tips you have that you use to help improve your mental part of the game. We can all learn from each other. I've got self-hypnosis CDs that I've made on my website millswade.com check them out make great Christmas gifts we're getting close to Christmas so don't forget that also stay in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter under Bruce Mills hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you tomorrow